Hello everyone. Today we are going to see exercise 3.1 problem based upon the square and square roots. So exercise 3.1. So the first problem. Find the square of the following numbers. So four problems are that. Two problems I will solve. Now. So first one. Find the square of 16. Then C problem, I am going to solve the C problem, that is 90. So find the square of these numbers. So how can we find the square of these numbers? Solution. So 16 square. So how can we find? 16 into 16. 16, 16 are 256. So the square of the 16 square is 256. What about 92 square? So 92 square. 92 into 92. So what will we get? 92 into 92. You must be multiplied 2 to are 4. 18. 9 to are 18. Remainder 1. 9 ends are 81. 82. So if you add means what will we get? 4. 6. Remainder 1. 4. 8. So answer is 8. 4. 6. Four. This is the square of the. So this is the 92 square is 8. 4. 6. 4. Then what about the second one? The second problem. Which of the following numbers are not perfect square? So they are given in a 8 problem. I am solving the 4th problem now. So we want to find which are not perfect square. So two conditions, two properties we studied. That it means it satisfies that means that is a non perfect square. So it is ending with odd zeros means that is a non perfect square. So second one it is ending with 2. 3 and 7, 8. So this 4 number ending with this perfect square means that is not a perfect square we can conclude. Then final one, so this 2 condition is not satisfied means we want to find the factor of those numbers. So we want to pair it. If don't have any number in a single means, so if we don't have that pair of that number means that is also not a perfect square. So we will see the example here. So I am taking the first one. 1, 8, 4, 9. Then uh, next problem, B problem. 7,000. And C problem. 900. And H problem. 2, 9, 4. 2, 9, 4, 4, 7, 8. So we want to find which are the not perfect square. Then what about the first one? Solution. First one it is ending with 9. So it, it may be possible to be a perfect square. So 1, 8, 4, 9. So you check it. So what are the possible factors we can get? The only possible 43 is a factor. 43 into 43 you will get 1843. So again 43. So remainder is 1. So 1849 is equal to 43 into 43. So you can pair it. So if you are able to pair off your number means that is a perfect square. That 4, 1, 9, 4, 9 is a perfect square. So what about the B problem? B problem is 7000. So 7000 means it is ending with R0. 7000 is Ending with ending with odd zeros. So it is ending with odd zeros means what can we say here? That for 7000 is not a perfect square. Not a perfect square. So what about that next problem? C problem. Nice hundred. So 900, it is ending with the even number. So you are 9, if you split that, you can get 3 into 3. So find the factor of 900. So what will we get? So you can divide it by 3. So what will we get here? 300. 300 we can divide it by 3. So you can get 100. 100 we can divide it by 10. So again you can divide it by 10, remainder 1. So 900 we can write in the form of 3 into 3 into 
10 into 10. So you can pair it for each and every number. So that we can conclude here 900 is a perfect square. Therefore, 900 is a perfect square because of why because of you are saying is a perfect square. So the factor of all the numbers can be the pair. That is why we can conclude here this is a perfect square. So what about next problem? H problem. H problem, what is that? 2,94,478. So in a first property I said, what is that? It is ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8 means that is not a perfect square. This is ending with 8. That is why this is not a perfect square. So this number is number is ending with ending with 8 that for 2,94,478 is not a perfect square perfect square what about the third problem so third problem what is the what is the possible number of digit in squares of the following numbers? They are asking what is the possible number of digits in the square of the following numbers? So I am taking first problem 17. Then I am taking the C problem 2195. So we want to find the what we want to find? What is the possible number of digits in the square of the following numbers? So you no need to find the square of this number. We want to find the possible of the even digits of this square. So already we studied. How can we find? So a number, a digit. What is the digits we are having? Two digit number. 17 is a two digit number. So how can we find the possible outcome? So possible possible digits digits of a square perfect square perfect square possible digits of a perfect square is 2n minus 1 or 2n so here your n represent what your n represent number of digits so 17 how many number of digits 2 number of digits so what is the possible number of outcome? 2 into n minus 1. So here, here n is equal to 2. n represent how many digits are in that number. So 2 digits are there. So 1 and 2. So that is why we are taking n is equal to 2. So if you apply in this form, what we will get 2 into 2 minus 1 or 2 into 2. So what is the possible outcome here? 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 1 or 4. So, 3 or 4 possible outcomes you can get. So, you are square 17 square answer should be 3 digit or 4 digit. What is the C problem? So, same possible possible digits of digits of a perfect square perfect square is square is 2n minus 1 or 2n. So what will we get here? What is your n? Here n represent number of digits. How many number of digits? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here n is equal to 4. You simply substitute in the so simply substitute in this formula. What will we get? 2 into 4 minus 1 or 2 into 4. So what will we get? 2 4 are 8. 8 minus 1 or 2 4 are 8. So what is your answer? So your square of 2,195 is 7 digit number or 8 digit number. Next we will move to the fourth problem.
What is the fourth problem? Fourth problem. Without actual addition, find the sum of the following. Without the actual addition, find the sum of the following. First one is what? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. And the second problem. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. We want to find the so find the without actual addition find the sum of the following. So you no need to add but we want to find the answer of this one. How can we find it? So look at it here. So what is the problem? First problem. So all are odd numbers. So it is a consecutive odd numbers. So look at it here. How many consecutive odd numbers are there? Four consecutive odd numbers are there. One property we studied. So, so if you are finding the square of the number, it should be, so n square means, so n square means we want to add the first n odd numbers. So 1 plus, 3 plus, 5 plus, 7 plus, up to first n odd numbers, plus n odd numbers. So if you add means, this is the equal to that one. So we can conclude here. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to. Here how many numbers are there? N numbers are there. So here now how many numbers are there? 4 numbers are there. So 4 square. What is the value of 4 square? 4 square is nothing but 16. Same like your problem B. So what is the given? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 square. So, what is the value of 7 square? 7 square is nothing but 49. 7 7 are 49. Next, we will move to the fifth problem. What is the fifth one? Find the digit at the ones place in the square of the following numbers. So, find the digit at the ones place. So, your ending number, what we want to find? That's all. You no need to find that square of the numbers. What is your ones place number? So, we studied the property. What we studied that property? So, if you are squaring a number, 1 and 9, your resulting answer will be, your ones place answer will be 1. So, 2 and 8. So, resulting number will be, your ending will be 4. So, 3 and 7. So, the ones place will be 9. The square of this number, ending with this number means, your answer is ending with this number. 4 and 6. This is ending with 6. What about 5? 5 means that number 1 place is 5 only. So, we will solve like this one. So, 10 problems are given. So, I am going to solve 4 or 5 problems. A. 19. B. 114. C problem. 361. Then G problem. G problem 2532 and J problem 2666. So we want to find the digit place of the one digit place. Solution. So what will we get? 19 square is square is end with end with. So what is your ones place? So 19 square ones place is ones place place is a unit place is what? So 1 and 9 comes means what is your ones place? 1. This is your A. So what about the B problem? 114 square ones place is ones place Easy. So it is ending with 4. So 4 means what is your end place? It is ending with 6. Then what about C problem? 361 square once place place easy. So it is ending with 1. So what will we get? So it is ending with 1 1. So what about next one? G problem. 2000 and 
532 square square one's place is so what is your end number 2 2 means what will be get your ending number one's place number is 4 then what about the last one j problem 200 and 2666 square square one's place is one place is it is ending with 6 so what is that number so your one's place is 6 so say if you are using this one easily you can find the one places of the square numbers then we will move to the sixth problem what is the sixth problem sixth problem is express the following as indicated so a first one 64 as the sum of 8 odd numbers 64 as the sum of 8 odd numbers so what we want to do express the following as a indicated so what is indicated so sum of first 8 odd numbers so what will we get here 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so what is the answer here so already we studied in this problem so how many consecutive first consecutive odd number 8 consecutive odd numbers if you are adding means what will we get so 8 square 8 square is what 64 This is only we want to express. Then what about the B problem here? The B problem is we want to express one sixty nine as the sum of sum of thirty odd numbers. Thirty odd numbers. So how can we express here? First thirty odd numbers. One plus three plus Five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen plus fifteen plus seventeen plus ninety plus twenty-one plus twenty-three. How many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus twenty-five. So if you are adding means what will we get? So fifteen consecutive odd numbers are there. So sorry, thirteen consecutive odd numbers are there. So if you add means what will we get? Thirteen square. So what is the answer of thirteen square? One sixteen. Next we will go to the seventh problem. What is the seventh problem? Write the following as the sum of the two consecutive positive numbers. So we want to write the square into two consecutive Positive integers. How can you write? So even a problem, twenty-five square. Then b problem, seventeen square. Then another one problem, f one, thirty-three square. So we want to write as a consecutive two positive integers. So if you want to add, it should be there. So two twenty-five square. So what is that twenty-five square? 25 into 25, you will get 625. So, what is the sum of the consecutive odd positive sir? Sum of the consecutive positive integer. How can we find? So, 625. We are dividing by 2. What will we get here? 3, 1. So, 5 divided by 2 means 2.5. So, 312.5. So, what is the number? What is the two number? So, 312 plus 330. This is lowest number and the next number 312 and the next number is 330. So if you are add means you will get 625. These are the two consecutive positive integers. So what about the next one? So next problem, B problem, 17 square. So what is 17 square? 256. 256. Sorry, 259. So 17 is 17. 77 is 49. Remainder 4. 177. 7 plus 4. 11. 7. 1. So if you add 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 
Thank you all of you.